Have you ever wondered, how can people install giant oil rigs, floating in the middle of the vast sea? The giant structures, known as offshore oil rigs, stand as monuments to human ingenuity. These giant monsters, meticulously crafted and strategically placed. They are a giant block of steel, standing tall in the middle of the vast ocean, courageously resisting and overcoming all types of the harshest weather. Today, we embark on a journey that takes us beyond the waves, into the heart of the ocean. This is a story of precision, engineering marvel and the relentless pursuit of exploiting the life force at the bottom of the ocean. Welcome to Planet Innovation Channel. Start with jackets. To have a solid structure that can withstand all types of harsh weather in the middle of the ocean. The jacket part is especially important. It is a giant steel structure. The jacket is 160 meters high, has a footprint of 45 x 45 meters and means 25 x 35 meters at the top. With a weight of 9,150 tons. With modern equipment and giant cranes operating at full capacity. It took workers 50 weeks to complete this masterpiece. At the same time, at another factory. Workers here are also starting the process of constructing the top part of the rig. This is the main part consisting of many details arranged together. The process of assembling Lego blocks is fascinating. This giant structure weighing nearly 20,000 tons was skillfully moved onto the ship by engineers. The journey offshore has just really begun. To make the installation of drilling rigs easy and quick. The ship pioneering spirit was born. This is a ship built and completed by the Dutch oil and gas company, All Seas. This vessel is one of Alsea's largest and most unique projects. Specially designed for upgrading and dismantling large oil and gas structures such as drilling rigs, oil production plants, and other heavy structural sections. This enhances production capabilities and reduces the time needed for large jobs.
When the machining process is completed, we move to the process of moving and installing the jacket. The offshore installation more than two weeks. Here, technique requires absolute precision. Two giant cranes will take on this heavy job. The arrival of pioneering spirit marks a step change in offshore installations and decommissioning. Capable of lifting entire platform tops of up to 48,000 tons and nacelles of up to 20,000 tons in a single piece, she significantly reduces the offshore workload associated with installation and decommissioning, relocation move work ashore where it is safer and more cost-effective. With eight extremely powerful hydraulic arms and perfect balance. Incredibly, lifting and lowering giant structures up to tens of thousands of tons has become easier than ever. Showing the power of this monster is absolutely amazing. And after more than 40 years of operation, offshore drilling rigs have begun to reach retirement age. The pioneering spirit once again showed its great capabilities. Huge structures were disassembled and sent to smaller boats to the mainland. They will then be cut for recycling and continue to serve in the future. The main lifting blocks were suspended from JLS beams attached to the top of the jacket using a bespoke truss system, fabricated by Alsi's Fabrication, and after final cuts the 85-meter long structure was lifted out of the water safely. The jacket was then aligned with the beams and lowered onto the main aft deck for transport to the Shetlands. Thursday's lift successfully concluded two years of planning and design which began with the safe and successful single lift lift of the 14,200-ton Ninian Northern platform headed by Pioneering Spirit in 2020. Pioneering technology fundamentally different from conventional crane lifting vessels, the rear-mounted system consists of two interconnected 170-meter beams to lift and support jackets of all sizes during disassembly and installation process. This system also allows the jacket to be transported in a nearly vertical position to protect structural integrity. This innovative technology allows for direct transport of structures to and from the harbor and eliminates the need for support barges. 
There is no need to fasten the shell to the beam during transport due to the ship's high level of stability, significantly reducing time on site and reducing emissions. The vessel will lift and transport more than 123,000 tons of structures for the offshore energy industry this year using both its motion-compensating topsides lifting system and its nacelle lifting system.